过去讲，过去讲，过去讲，过去讲。What's going on, everybody? We are in Koreatown, Los Angeles, right now, and I'm here with my Korean foodie friend, Skylar Lee. As known as Foodie on Flea. We're eating a very specific type of Korean barbecue today. What's special? Pork belly in Korean is samgyeopsal, and this eight barbecue place has eight different flavors of samgyeopsal. But we have to bring in our friend who's from the fashion world. Hi, this is Christina Paris. Also, this is Christina Paris on Instagram. I'm so excited to eat a lot. So, Chogyo, let's go. I have never had eight different types of pork belly. This is a combo A here at Eight Korean Barbecue. So the side dishes in Korea are called panta. Here is koguma, a sweet potato. We have jalapenos, gochu. This is called jangachi. It's another type of kimchi. Macaroni salad. I think I can say that one. Tteokbosam. So tteok is rice cake, and bosam is when you wrap everything else in it together. These are genneeps, mm -hmm. and these are perilla leaves. These are pink radish wrap, musa. So there are eight different flavors here. So the wine one is made with red wine. The original obviously has no other flavor. Black sesame flavor has a little bit of like sweet. Right, there's almost like a dessert. Like, and the fourth flavor is garlic. Is it hard for you to resist the urge and want to cook it yourself? And you're like, no. I definitely do not want to go near this. <laughs> no, no. As fashion girls, we don't really do anything. <laughs> We're about to try my favorite wine confit. <laughs> confit. Honestly, the That's wine really flavor is so subtle. It is. It is. Mm -hmm. It's not overpowering. This is so good. All right, let's try some okay. with the original. Okay. You might need a bigger piece than that, Christina. Don't be doing a fashion thing. Pick a leaf out, rice paper on top of the gennyi, and then you'll put the original, and I'm just gonna add other side dishes. You just wrap it up, okay. and you're supposed to eat it all in one bite. Okay, well, I might mind kind of big, but I'm, I'm still do it. We're good. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of the perilla leaf. Wow, it adds so much flavor. This one is the third flavor black sesame. Subtle, right? Mm hmm But the texture is like crispier. We have the garlic flavor. Okay. I see why this is your favorite. You think it's because garlic is such a strong flavor, it really infused itself into the meat? And I think it works really well with the pork belly. It adds just the right amount of flavor. I'm gonna go back for the wine. Oh, so you are the alcoholic. <laughs> is going to be the curry. Um, it's a lot more yellow. You, you're gonna be able to see the curry in there. With herb, it's gonna taste a little bit healthier for you. Piece of paste one is actually one of my favorites. The hot one is actually made with gochujang. Going in, curry. Ooh, I can just I see know. the curry dripping off there. I didn't think that curry would work so well with pork belly, but this is amazing. It's probably the strongest flavor that we've tried so far. Herbs. Ooh, just herbs. look at the herb. You can just see the herbs yeah. just on it. Ooh. Yeah. This is what this one's your favorite? Yeah. Nope. I like garlic, but I like this one. That's good. I feel like that's how like Western people cook exactly. pork belly with a lot of herbs. So a lot of people like the oil and the salt. Um, also you have the bean paste. I always find myself forgetting about these side sauces because there's so much flavor in the meat. I'm gonna go with a little bit of the salt. And try it with the kimchi because the kimchi when it cooks, it's gonna get a little bit crispy as well. This is kim roasted kimchi and pork belly fat. Oh, that's good. Next up, we've got miso paste. It has like a homey cooking kind of feel to it. This is egg yolk. <laughs> Are we in a K-pop group right now? We should start one then. Yeah. We already have a song going. Go to John, 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 go to John. Last but not least, we've got hot. Hot. Gochujang. Oh, okay. Hey, it's lit. <laughs> Boom. Makes sense. It's the crispiest as well. I feel like that's the strongest flavor. And that's why they save it for the last. We just had eight flavors of pork belly. They all tasted different. I was disappointed by none of them. So after you order the eight, you can add a ninth flavor, which is our kalbi, kalbi flavor. A little bit sweeter. It's kind of like, like a dessert. I really, really liked it with um, some of the sesame oil yeah, and, then, a, and then a rice paper. Such a familiar flavor with um, beef, yeah. and it's so cool to have it with pork belly. Hemu wow. tenjangchi. Seafood, 
bean paste soup, there is, what is this, squid, there's crab and scallops and just a bunch of different types of seafood. I love that. That has such a depth of like a deep seafood. Yeah, it's got all the flavors. Yeah. So at the end of the meal, what they do is they clear everything out of the soup so that they have a little bit of the, the, just the soup base. And he's gonna bring out the rice, green onions and seaweed and put cheese on top and make kimchi fried rice. Kimchi fried rice, we call it kimchi bokkeumbap. Cheese. 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 <laughs> cheese. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, look at the cheese. Mm. You know what? I would eat all the rest of this if we didn't have round two coming up. Mm hmm. Dongshim is a ribeye steak. That looks so good. I, I kept looking at the marbling on it when it was sitting over to the side. I was like, oh yeah. It's so good. <laughs> Juicy. Really juicy. Yeah. So there's another dish that is made with the pork neck meat. <laughs> yeah, I love the way you said pork. Kamja <laughs> 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 tang has kamja is um, the pork neck and tang is soup, right? But in kamja tang, there's a lot of potatoes. And potatoes in Korea is called kamja. So honestly, in what, a long time ago, I thought this was kamja tang because there's it's like a potato soup. But it's actually the meat that's called kamja. The meat itself is just gonna. Falls, falls off. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, that's good. It's so tender and juicy. It has the bone um, intact with it. This is actually my favorite dish in Korean food. We are at the last leg of this Korean feast. See, this is new to me too. These are gigantic slices of Mugi Fuji pork belly. I have thick cut bacon, but not like this. Yeah. Wow. This is T H I C C, dripping with the salt. Wow. This texture is out of this world. Everything complements so nicely. Yeah, because it is a heavy thing. I think when I first ate it on its own, I was like, ooh, I like this, but I couldn't eat every piece like this. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching that episode of Fun Rose Food here at 8 Korean Barbecue. Please, in the comment section below, let us know what you thought of this food and what is another food you would like us to try. Until then, we're in Koreatown, Los Angeles. Until next time, we out. Peace. I just want to say thank you to 8 Barbecue for having us and David Bunk for having me. Um, you can find me on social media and on Instagram as Foodium Fleek. Follow me on This Is Christina Paris on Instagram.